how do we farm Juma bags? I mean, if you're a new player, you really do need to get on the Juma bag train. Like yesterday. Roll it. Welcome back. And like I said, if you are a new player and have limited companions, mounts, or even gear, yeah, farm Juma bags. I'll show you how. So in general, this video is going to be directed to you new players out there, but it can benefit anybody who doesn't really know. So as a new player, you might have heard people tell you, hey, go farm Juma bags and have no clue where it is, why you should farm it or how to even farm it efficiently. Newer players have a difficult time even finding him. Before I tell you all that, let me show you where Juma actually is. So go to any gate or use your signpost if you have one, of course, and take yourself to Valenhuts. Follow me. Go this way. And turn left here. And here is Juma's location. Here's where you will turn in all your chaotic ratings in exchange for Juma bags. Each Juma bag will cost you 100 chaotic ratings. And the best way to accumulate chaotic ratings quickly is via the heroics in Valenhuts. The main one you should focus on is the Ape Heroic. It will give you 50 chaotic ratings per completion. So every two apes, you'll be able to receive one Juma bag. And the reason why the Ape Heroic is better than the bigger Heroic is because it spawns quicker. Now let me show you where the Ape is located. Here he is, very conveniently located close to where you started off and close to Juma. The trick in Valenhas is to watch his zone chat. People call apes and in what instance they spawn in the zone chat all the time. And once they do, all you need to do is go to the instance they called it in. Make sure to be quick because sometimes depending on how busy the zone is, you might find it difficult to even get into the zone. So you go and you kill the apes to get 50 chaotic writings. And you can do it all day if you wish. If you kill 50 apes, you will get 25 Juma bags. You can also complete quests from NPCs in the zone to get extra chaotic writings like 20 or 100 or whatever. Now that you know where Juma is and where the ape is, why do you need the Juma bags? The answer is simple. Juma bags drop all sorts of awesome stuff for you. Most of them, if not all, are bound, so you can rarely sell anything you get from the Juma bags. But as a new player, I'm assuming you have a limited amount of everything. Juma bags can give you green, blue, or even purple companions. And companions are extremely valuable in Neverwinter. It can also give you mounts at green, blue, or purple as well. It can give you 2,500 astral diamonds per Juma bag or health stones, which are extremely valuable. It also has a chance of dropping you coalescent wards, which are even more valuable and used to upgrade enchantments and artifacts and what have you. Also, scrolls of mass life can drop and preservation wards. Legendary keys, companion upgrade tokens, and even gear. And some of this gear is very, very helpful. And even if they weren't, they might be better than what you are currently using. And as you see on your screen right now, these are most of the rewards that you can get from Juma bags. By the way, these screenshots are from Rainer's Juma video. Awesome work from Rainer as always. So my advice to you as a new player is go farm Juma bags whenever you have free time. Granted, it's RNG based but it has many items that you probably need. And this was just a quick video to give you a helping hand. Now go, farm Juma bags. You still here? Vamos, andale. My Spanish sucks. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe.